Hi, I'm Zala. I'm back again today with another tutorial or DIY, if you may. As you can see in the beginning clip, my wig looks raggedy. It's like I've been in a bush fight with some bush animals. So I decided <laughs> I'm going to fix this myself. So I got me some Pantene shampoo, Pantene conditioner, and some fabric uh, softener. So first things first, I fill in my... Um, basin with some lukewarm water so once the basin was nice and full i just put in my hair in the water there's no chemicals so there's no shampoo there's no soap there's nothing i'm just washing the hair off first with clean water and no chemical I did that for about two minutes then once that was done I was now ready to go in with my shampoo I filled in the basin once again and once the basin was nice and full I put the shampoo directly in the water um, as a black person child I don't measure stuff with anything I just measure with my eyes okay <laughs> then once I had done that I mixed the shampoo with the hair just before I could place the hair in the shampoo. So this is just to make sure that like the entire hair gets the shampoo. Because if you pour it directly onto the hair, some parts of the hair will not get the shampoo, you know. So I put it in the water, then I put my wig into the water and then I started washing again. As you can see, the dirt is coming out and I think also most of it is from the tinting of the lace with foundation then afterwards i go in with the shampoo onto the hair while it's in the water as well that helps and then i went in with my old toothbrush that i'm no longer using please <laughs> don't use your toothbrush that you're currently using then i scrub the lace i do it gently obviously the video is in fast motion so it looks like i'm rough but please do it gently so that you do not ruin your lace so this is to remove the lay, uh, sorry, the glue on the lace, and to also make sure that um, you remove all that foundation. I go back in again with my shampoo again onto the lace, um, just to make sure that I'm cleaning the entire surface. Like I make sure that I want this lace to come out looking as transparent as it did when it first arrived, because I could still see the foundation. If you can see my water, it's telling you that we've been through it. <laughs> Once that was done, I filled the basin again with lukewarm water and I put the wig back into the water again to rinse it now. Um, without anything, without any product, it still was just fresh out the shampoo water and I was just rinsing it here. I was satisfied with the rinsing i put the wig back into the basin but now the basin has no water so we're now going to apply our tresemme conditioner directly onto the wig and i'm going to also make sure that i massage it thoroughly so the product really seeps into the wig and i'm also going to add my fabric softener just after i've placed that conditioner 
to make sure that it comes out like silky 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 so put as much product as you want like i said i don't use anything to measure i use my eyes and i also feel the wig if like and i feel that the conditioner is in or if it's not and if i feel like i've not put in um enough i went back again and i put in the conditioner but if i feel that i put enough then it was go time must have missed the clip where i add in the fabric softener but now what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be detangling the wig using that detangler comb i got it from this cam it was about 45 rand um just to ensure that by the time that i'm done with this whole thing this wig is silky silky you're going to shed a lot of hair while you do this because you're obviously combing it out um so i started with the pink comb to detangle but i felt like it's not doing the job then i went in with that black one just to open up the hair and then i went back again with the pink one and yeah now it was nice and silky i could literally feel that by the time my hair dry it we're going to see a different result i was just tired of my wig being so stiff and i felt like i hadn't done everything in my power to you know try and resolve the issue so here we go again i'm putting in some conditioner oh yeah here we go there's the fabric softener period i thought i'd lost the footage but yeah here we go here we go i was skeptical at first i'm not gonna lie but yeah so after i've done that i massaged it again throughout the hair i massaged it throughout the hair made sure that it, like the entire hair is covered in fabric softener and in the conditioner I was scared that the fabric softener would actually ruin my hair because of I feel like it's a strong chemical, but it actually did not. Then after about two hours, I let the hair sit in the basin without any water. Then I came back to rinse the conditioner and the fabric softener off. Like the hair was smelling so good. It felt very, very soft. So I opened up the tap. I was using lukewarm water here to rinse it off i was using lukewarm water at all um all the time guys i don't want to use hot hot water because i knew that i'm going to put it through heat again when i now style it and you know flat iron it and straighten it out so i was using lukewarm water throughout the entire process and it came out so fabulous i went in again with my comb to detangle as much as i can because like i said this wig yo and there you have it guys look at how silky it came out it looks so pretty it's so flowy i mean even in the dark the hair is still banging thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed and you learned a few things see you in my next one